Hey, what's up, YouTube? I just wanted to make a short video today on the differences between a real 47 and a fake 47 cleanup hat. Uh, I recently encountered a fake, and so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to display the differences. I didn't see any other videos on YouTube, and so I thought I might offer my support. A lot of the rules here should apply to all 47 hats. You know, a lot of them have similarities in logo, uh, the 47 logo here. <clears throat> And a lot of the branding is very similar, but this is going to specifically apply to the cleanup edition, uh, cleanup line from 47. Uh, this is the culprit in hand. I purchased this off of eBay and immediately I knew that it was fake just from the way it felt, the way it looked. Uh, I'm going to kind of go over those differences and hopefully, I luckily am going to be able to return this. But I, hopefully this will be able to stop you from falling into the same trap as I did. So we'll start going over them immediately. Immediately you'll notice that this one is a lot more of a thin material. That's why I noticed first thing out of the box, I kind of grabbed it and shook it. Immediately I noticed that it's very floppy. It's got a very lightweight material compared to the normal 47 cleanups. 47 cleanups themselves are an unstructured hat. They're going to have flex. They're going to move, but they're certainly not going to move as much as this. As to, as to say, all of them won't do that. My 47 Cleanup Yankees Kelly Edition it also has a similar flop, but still, when folded up and such, it doesn't have near the same flop as this. This just completely collapses. You can tell it's a lack of quality. It's a uh, material that doesn't have quality. Going to the logo, they're pretty similar. 47, though, likes to have very uh, 3D logos. So you notice the New York on the Rangers is all elevated. The Rangers is elevated. A lot of the stitching is very tight. You see all this. It's almost an end in here because of how tight the stitching is. Here, the stitching kind of elevates. It's kind of got a puffball shape to it, a marshmallow shape. All 47 logos are very tight. Even the 3D ones, such as this Coyotes, where the ears have indents, the mouth has indents, they're all very tight. And this fake one, one to my left will always be fake, this fake one it does not have this tight stitching. Moving around the hat, you see the 47 logos are extremely similar. The fake did really well on it. Even if you go to the inside and take a look, again, real on the right, fake on the left, you notice that even the inside stitching is very similar. So you're not going to be able to tell a strict difference based on that. Going around to the back, <clears throat> immediately you'll notice this, the tag. Almost all 47 cleanups have a tag. The only ones that I've found that don't have a tag are the Cooperstown collection from the baseball line. But every single one of these hats on this table, from the Yankees to the Green Bay, all of them have this special tag in the back. <clears throat> Here on the buckle, you'll notice the 47 on the fake, fake is on the bottom, it's a lot less distinct and it doesn't have the shine and glimmer that the one on top has. The one on top being the real, much more indented, much stronger of an indent. Also, you can go ahead and check the button. And the insides of the button should have the 47 brand as well. But as you can see, both the fake and the real are very similar and very well done. So it's kind of hard to tell the differences right there, but you should be able to notice a slight quality difference in that 47 branding right there. And of course, like we already talked about, the tag. Nothing on the left side of the hat on the outside and the crowns themselves are very similar coloring wise and everything. Going towards the inside, you'll start to notice some more uh, differences. First of all, the stitching on the fake one is a lot worse. There's little straight uh, threads right there, and when the real does not. 47 does a very job, good job at cleaning up their hats. You'll notice very few strays. That's the only stray I'm able to find in this one. But the fake one has strays all over it. <clears throat> strays there, stray here, a stray fiber here. The fibers are all over. 47's a brand known for their quality, and this is not a quality hat. It's small, these small changes, these small differences that really make the uh, world of difference. Going to the 47 tags, extremely similar again. The only thing I was able to notice about the fake, fake being on the bottom again, 
is that the uh, logo itself seemed a little oblong, but that could just be me. So tell me what you, if you see the difference. Locations of uh, production is not important. Notice that the fake says made in China, the real says <clears throat> made in China as well. But you'll get other hats, such as uh, these Diamondbacks, made in Vietnam. There's different manufacturing points, so manufacturer point isn't a dead giveaway. Now, more important details is the branding. NHL brand will be on a real hat. You can also see this in this other Coyotes hat. I purchased this off of eBay as well, but I purchased through Fanatics on the uh, their own eBay store. And so I was able to get a real one through that. And you'll notice also the NHL logo there. All hats, no matter what they are, have some sort of a branding. This Arizona Suns hat has an NBA logo on it. This Green Bay hat has the NFL logo on it. And this <clears throat> Yankees hat, has MLB, genuine merchandise on it, as does this Diamondbacks, also has. Even the Cooperstown collection has a Cooperstown collection badge from MLB. They all have some sort of an official branding logo, and this fake lacks it completely. I'm not even sure why the fakes wouldn't attempt to make one there, at least a fake version. I don't know if it has to deal with something legal, but I've noticed the fakes don't have that logo. And lastly, a sort of a niche, niche detail, but uh, a detail nonetheless, is the button here. You'll notice that the button on the, let me get it to focus, the button on the right being the real one, and the button on the left being the fake one. The button on the right has clear, distinct color differences. More of a gunmetal gray in the center and a light gray on the outside, versus the fake just has a completely light gray button. <clears throat> So the very subtle differences, and I know that's hard to find online when you're purchasing a hat, especially if you're purchasing it off of Amazon or something like that. But luckily there's a lot of official uh, outlets that you can purchase on. You know, I purchased the Arizona Suns off of Macy's, uh, Green Bay off of the NFL website. There's a lot of different outlets that you can purchase it from that will guarantee you an official 47 hat. The only difference is that those, you have to pay full price. The Macy's one was $48. The NFL was the full 35 plus shipping. The eBay one is very tempting because it is free shipping oftentimes, it's cheaper. The Fanatics itself, I purchased off of eBay for a cheaper price. You just have to be careful of the sellers you're buying from and keep a lookout. Sellers are very interactive on eBay and you should be able to confront them, talk to them about the hats before purchasing them. If they can't show you these distinctive signs such as the NFL, the, uh, the NHL logo or any of the official branding logos, then it's probably a fake. You'll have to keep an eye, keen key eye out. Sometimes the pictures will show the differences. You know, this picture actually did show the difference here and I didn't take a look at it. I didn't realize it at first, but just keep an eye out, a keen, key, uh, keen eye out, and uh, you should be able to tell the difference between a real and a fake. Of course, purchasing in person will be a lot easier, but you know we can't do that a lot of times, especially as online shopping becomes more relevant. Anyway, I hope that helped you guys out today, and I hope that uh, you never have to deal with purchasing a fake. All right, I'm off to go ship this back to the original seller, and hopefully I can get a refund back for it. See ya.